What's up everyone, Azario here, welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 uh, Booster Pack Review, I guess I should call this. And, um, yeah, what we're going to be looking at here is the V-Jump Edition Pendulum Victory Pack. Uh, it was revealed today, there's five cards coming in the Victory Pack, and the, the last time I checked there wasn't a release date. Yeah, like it just says 2014, they don't have an official release date as to when uh, the cards in this Booster Pack will be available so it sucks so maybe they'll do that within like the next few weeks we'll get a release date but right now there isn't one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do card reviews for all five of the cards in the the uh, victory pack all at once so I don't have to do them individually so with that being said let's take a look at the first one which is Triple D Kaiser, Kaiser the Conqueror and um, uh, what we have right here okay Kaiser the Conqueror it is a dark fiend effect monster level 7 attack 2800 defense 2100 description when this card is pendulum summon negate the effects of all face up cards your opponent controls until the end of this turn until the end of the turn once per turn during your main phase one, if this card was Pendulum Summon this turn, you can target one or two cards in your Spell and Trap card zone, destroy them, and if you do, this card gains one additional attack for each card destroyed by this effect during each battle phase this turn. So, this is good because, again, if the, if the Covenant support cards for the DD monsters are as they are, f you know, or if they will be the same or similar to the way they they are in the anime, this would be good because they have effects that causes effect damage to the player that's using them, and this would be good to try to get rid of those cards, you know, during a tight spot as well as um as well as this card is able to gain additional attacks. And also, it's able to negate the effects of all other cards, um, all face-up cards your opponent controls. So that's good. So, so yeah. So next up, we have Intermate Warrior Tiger. Intermate Warrior Tiger. And scroll down here. Nobody gives a fuck about M Mabinogi. Anyway, it's an in Intimate Warrior Tiger. It's an Earth Beast Warrior effect monster. Level 4, uh, attack 1700, defense 500. Description, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can add one Intimate Pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Intimate Warrior Tiger per turn. I have to close the door. People coming in. I don't want them to. I don't want them to bust through the door and ruin the video. But um, yeah, like the intermates needed this. They needed this bad because they don't really have anything at all. I mean, even as you know, the ones that are currently in the game right now, all of them are pendulum monsters. But the pendulum scales are like three, four, and five, and that's terrible. So they're not good pendulum monsters at all. Um. And, you know, that's not good for Pendulum Monsters if you're just trying to run, like, a pure Intimate Warrior deck. And the other options, they don't really have anything for you because the, the other Pendulum Monsters that are currently in the game, they all work together with the exception of Radiant Knight. And maybe that's what, something you can use in the Intimate because it's, like, its scale is 7. So that can probably do something for you for, for like, the Intimate Monsters. But Odd Eyes... Uh, time Gazer and Stargazer, those three are pretty much meant to work together. So, so yeah, uh, this is good for the pendulums, uh, monsters, uh, in the archetypes. So, this is, uh, this is gonna be good to see in action. Um, of course, there's cards that can, that you can use to power it up. Uh, not power it up, but being able to search it out um of course there's tinky with it being a beast warrior monster it can be searched out by tinky 
um, as well as some other monsters in our uh, archetypes such as Trampolinks. I mean, I'm fucking up. <laughs> I'm not perfect. Um, and the cards that you can search it out with are, of course, you know, cards like Trampolinks, Cheer Mole, etc. So it's good for the uh, archetype. So, like, they have something to try to speed them up. Next up, we have Intermate Thunder Rhino. Thunder Rhino. And it is a light rock effect monster. Level 3, attack 200, defense 1800. Description, your opponent cannot target another other Intermate monsters for attacks except this one. If this card is in your graveyard and an Intermate card or cards you control would be destroyed by battle or by card effect except Intermate Thunder Rhino, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Okay, cool. Um... It protects your... It's basically a Necro Gardener f for the Intimate Monsters. Well, all of the cards in the archetype with the name in it. So that's really good. It, it, that's some good protection. Um, of course, it, it's a rock monster, so that may be troublesome. I mean... Maybe you can throw in uh, rock bombardment in order to get it in, in, into the graveyard a lot quicker. So, so, like, that's an idea. As well as cause some burn damage to your opponent. So that's probably, like, the way that it's going to end up being used. Since you want to get this thing in the graveyard as quickly as possible in order, so you, in, in, in order for you to use that effect. So I think, yeah, like, it was a smart move for them to make this a rock monster. So you can use, use it with uh, rock bombardment. So th that's good. Uh, next up, we have DD Proud Ogre. Ogre. And it is a Dark Fiend Pendulum Effect Monster, level 6, Pendulum Scale 8, Attack 2300, Defense 1500, Description Pendulum Effect. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points, then target one DD monster you control. It gains 500 attack, unless you have a DD card in your other pendulum zone. This card's pendulum scale becomes 5. Effect monster eff effect when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one face up dark pendulum monster from your extra deck. Its effects are negated and if you activate this effect, you cannot special summon m monsters for the rest of this turn except DD monsters. Okay, so it's like one face up dark pendulum monster. So this could be Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, which is a dark monster. Uh, this could be Time Gazer Magician. It can be Stargazer Magician. Um, you know, that's pretty much your only options right now. <laughs> uh, maybe it can be like another copy of this. You know, or maybe another monster in the archetype. Or, or pretty much, you know, something. Let's just say any dark pendulum monster. You know, saying like, there we go. As the like the card text implies, so I mean obviously you would want to target. I don't know if they're gonna make a pendulum tuner monster, and it, but that would be something. I doubt they would, you know, give a card that much, but that would be something if they did that. And then that way you can synchro summon into something. But obviously you would want to target like a level six maybe to uh, exceed into something, considering that the monster's effects are gonna be negated and you know, maybe the attack won't be that high. Matter of fact, like, I think there is a monster in the archetype that, you know, you should be able to, um, use this on that has, like, a relatively high attack. I think that was, like, Hell Armageddon. I don't know, but, but it had, like, a very, very long name back when I did the card review. Uh, but I think the name changed on it. But yeah, that monster, like it had some very high attack, so that would be like an ideal target for this monster's effect. So yeah, that's um, that's something. And last but not least, we have DD Proud Chevalier. Chevalier. Chivalry ain't dead. Anyway, it is a dark fiend pendulum effect monster. 
level 5, pendulum scale 6, attack 2000, defense 700. Description, pendulum effect, once per turn you can pay 500 life points to target one face up monster your opponent controls, that monster loses 500 attack unless you have a DD card in your other pendulum zone, this card's pendulum scale becomes 5. Well, monster effect, when this card is normal summon you can add one face up dark pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. So Ogre allows you to special summon, this one allows you to recycle so that you can use it again. So that's actually helpful as well. So, um, yeah, man, uh, overall, the monsters and the cards in this pack, they seem to work. Like, like normally when you get packs like this, all the monsters in a pack work well together. All five of them work well together. But these five, obviously, like, three of them work with one archetype, and the other two work with another archetype, so they're good cards for the, the archetypes that they're trying to support so I can't wait to see these in action so with that being said I don't again like the release date hasn't been set yet it just says 2014 you know that could be any day or maybe towards the end of the year I don't know but you know the, the link to this will be in the description you guys can check it out and I'll see you for the next Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 video until then peace